it is always good to take care of your fur. If you have a car, you have to take care of your car. Same thing with a fur coat because you want the coats to last. Some coats can be given down through generation to generation if they're taken care of the way they're supposed to. We look at the lining and we lay it on the table here. You open it up. The first step that I look for is to see if there's any spots or anything else in the coat that I need to take any special attention to. The sawdust, it separates the hair. That's the main thing. If there's anything in the fur, it's all stuck together, it will separate the furs and clean it out. We actually have a second drum that we put it in that drops most of the sawdust out, but there's always some in the pockets and the hard to reach areas. So we blow them out with an air compressor. The glazing machine will put a sheen on the main coats. It spins, it's like a beating iron, and it beats the, the fur and makes it stand up and separate. If you don't repair it, then something else could come loose and it'll get worse and the whole lining could tear or the hook could completely come out. It's very important to make sure everything is intact so the person can look presentable. We keep our vaults right around 50% humidity and 50 degrees. That's perfect for the fur coat. Really cleaning and glazing and storage of your coat every year is best. And if you don't do it every year, that the, the skins will dry out. So cleaning, storage, and glazing and having repairs done are a must for a fur coat. A must.